Hello there again, everybody. This is Big Polly coming to you with part number seven of the OOTP 21 Perfect Team. Uh, right now we're at 4,000. Actually, no, we have just gone to 5,190 points. So I'm going to be getting a gold pack, and we'll probably get this um, this entry in quickly. Again, my website, Big Polly, Big Polly's World of Sports Sims. WordPress. Com. So with that. Let's get started. Come over here. And this is one of the rare situations where this would be a good idea to get a gold pack. I only have two gold starting pitchers, a, a gold closer. Uh, so first we're going to look at inactive cards. I should also point out real quick that the gold team is doing well. The uh, the uh, Universal Pioneers, the we're in a, in a league, and right now we're in first place in this division uh, by a game and a half over to Northbrook Loggers. Doing well, but it's it's very, very early in uh, the perfect team. Uh, this is only the second week I've been playing it in OOTP21. Looking at the news real quick before I try to sell off some Deadwood. Uh, Bruce Del, Del Canton had a good game against us. Uh, Ray Washburn again to the rescue with a shutout uh, in earlier play. And ML Yiddy with another good game. Uh, two gold starting pitchers on a team where you're averaging bronze players. That's not a bad thing right now. So let me take a look at the Deadwood I have to sell real quick. And we still got, we got a bunch we could sell, so let's do that. Start off with Ericas, still selling at 84. 84 and 28 is 112 divided by 2 is 56. So uh, let's try to sell him off. And we got a few more of these to go. Jeff Samarja at 12. The minimum for a iron is 6. We'll sell him at 9 and he'll go bye bye either way. Luis Perdomo selling at 19. The minimum we could sell and make a profit is 6. So 6 to 19, 25 divided by 2, 13. We might be seeing him back in a little bit. Off to Jake Newberry. Newberry with the Royals. Uh, 6 and 12 will be 9. Should also point out that on the day I record this, Cinco de Mayo, May 5th. Tuesday, OOTP put out a, a patch, its latest update, so go ahead and get that if you can. Uh, lost a couple of figures in the sports world. Don Shula passed away the day before I recorded this at the age of 90. Matt Keough, a uh, pitcher for the Angels organization and a few other teams, I think. He played for any other teams than the Angels, I'm not sure. He passed away recently. His wife was pretty famous. Jana was on the Real Wives of Real Housewives of Orange County. Was a model earlier in her career. Appeared in Playboy. Jana Tomasina was her maiden name. So uh, we wish her well in this trying time. Uh, let's see here. Six and twenty. Six and twenty. When the middle would be thirteen. Trying time for all of us, of course, with the coronavirus still going on and the politicians fighting over whether or not we should open up the country now or not. And I imagine that will be going on for quite a while yet. Another niner here for Mr. Pannoni and the Blue Jays. And then we will get to our gold card, which will guarantee that we will be improving this team uh, when finished. Jose Suarez is a 6 on our team. We'll go 11 on him. He won't be an immediate return. And Mendez, 6 and 11, is 9. He'll be going either way. And finally, Frank Funk. 6, 25, 31, 16, 16. So we might get Mr. Funk back. Uh, okay. So now we could get our gold pack. 
at 5,000 points, which I don't... Actually, it's 3,000 points these days, not 5,000, 3,000. Try to make it a better value. Uh, so we will... Now, see, I didn't know that until just now. Don't know if they got a sale going on or if they have... Uh, this is going to be a permanent thing where the cards will now sell at 3,000. For many, for the first two seasons, they did Perfect Team. It sold for 5,000. But we're going to at least get one good player here. So let's open up the gold pack first and see who we get. And off we go. One gold card coming, Ted Power. Closer for the Reds in the 80s. Jonathan Hernandez. Looking for that gold still. Roger Metzger, shortstop of the Astros back in the 70s. Taylor Ward, third base. Here's the gold. And we get Marcus Stroman, very good pitcher with the Blue Jays before he got traded to the Mets. And Gerson Basti Bas Batista. So that is pack number one. So we know we're getting the third good starter in Strowman, who's now with the Mets, as I was just saying. Uh, if we go to our regular bronze pack, we'll see if we get anybody good. We're going to get one bronze player at least, Julian Tavares, who we've already gotten. Ryan Brazier, Austin Wins of the Baltimore Orioles, Whitey Herzog as a player, right field for the Kansas City A's, and Valdez. I'm not going to try to say his first name. <laughs> okay, third and final pack coming up. I'm coming at you here. Once it opens up, here we go. Ben Gamble, right field, Brewers, Brewers, Rico Horner, Cole Stewart, starter for the Baltimore Orioles, Texas Rangers, and Jonathan Hernandez, the next pick, will probably be going auction bound, as will probably Alan Ramirez, only a 49, and another gold! This is Jose Barrios, so this is good, so we pick up two more starters who are gold. Uh, that'll give us a good pitching staff, and early on, if you got a good pitching staff, it's going to win you games, especially if you got a boatload of good starters. And we just picked up two, so we will ask the computer AI to. And we have a whole bunch of pitchers going by the wayside. We got Reed, McKay, and Wade, who will all be going. And right now, I'm going to sell some players. Now we have two Hernandez's duplicate. So we're going to sell one of them off. And we will go first time through, so we're going to try to sell them for 10. First time through, when I, uh, when I do an auction, I will try to sell it one below the lowest of the averages. But if I get them back and it's dead wood, what I call dead wood, when you, when you put them up for auction and they don't go, I just take the lowest price you could sell it at. For an iron card, that would be six. And say it's selling minimum for 12, then I would do nine. And if it's less than double or exactly double, I will sell it for five. That's the example when you have iron carts. Okay, so Hernandez would also, this Hernandez, this other Hernandez, would also go for 10. And let's see, who, our best pitcher on the bench is Lopez, so we could sell this fellow here. Alan Ramirez, he'll go for a higher price because he's historical. I kept saying in these in the previous editions of this uh, series of entries I'm doing for YouTube and the blog that uh, it's a buyer's market. No, it is a seller's market right now. Here's a look at Lopez. We're keeping him around just in case we need him. And Corey Stewart going bye-bye. 
and he go a little lower than than a dollar than a, a point lower. I'm gonna sell him for 48 and sell him if nothing happens to him. Okay, relievers now. Our best reliever is Valdez at on the bench anyway at 68, but we have a lot of bronze players to sell. So that's that's good. Bautista, again, seller's market. He's selling for 24, so we're going to try 23 on him. See if anybody will bite on that. And not everybody you sell is going to going to be auctioned off. And everybody you want to put up for auction, they're not going to buy it at the price. Uh, but I go by the averages, and you know sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Bead is a 61 with the Giants, and he's selling at 80 right now. My goodness, 72, and he will go. You want to sell it just low enough to get people's attention if they're looking for these cards on the auction market. Now a lot of a lot of people who play OOTP uh, do this for collection missions. Uh, I don't. Re I tried doing collections last year, and I really didn't like it. I just thought it got in the way of the perfect team concept. McKay is going for ninety. Uh, let's see here. Six Valdez is still my top reliever, so a lot of these pitchers are gonna do well. 120 is what Montero is selling for. Seller's market. Seller's market. Very interesting to see this happen. Uh, I can't remember another time when you could get good prices on on bad players in in the three years I've been playing OOTP. Uh, Tavares, 32. Julian Tavares. We have another version of Julian Tavares. Let me just double check. I do. I do. Um, so no point in keeping a second copy around Valdez. These cards should be selling single. This guy is selling for. He's a gold at 68. Valdez was the guy who I said I was going to keep. So never mind on that. Lopez, we're keeping because he's a starter and he's my top starter. Terrell Wade, I will sell. Try to auction off, and he's going for 35. So we'll put him up for 32. Oh, and I should probably try to sell him for 25 if nobody bites. Hang on, folks. I'm going to look this up. Eh, well, we'll get them back and we'll do it the right time the next time. Okay, so we got Ted Power. Ted Power of the Reds. He's going for 35. We'll go 32 and make sure to click the check mark on that one. And we're off. Let's see here. We have Leon and Wins as catchers. Wins will go because he has the lower overall rating. And I'm going to sell him at 7. And he'll be bye bye either way. And second baseman, we got a couple of second basemen, and they're both the same, so it really doesn't matter who I keep. I had Horner, and I had Horner. And that's going to happen when you play perfect team. You're going to wind up with duplicates, uh, players. Now they also do cards where you get you get players uh, as they play at different times. Like as I was saying in a previous episode, you could get a Sandy Koufax from the early '50s when he was a reliever, but you could also get, you know. A perfect Sandy Koufax from say 1965 when he was a lights out pitcher, and uh, they they you could get Babe Ruth, you could Babe Ruth the pitcher, Babe Ruth the the uh, very dominating hitter from the Yankees in the 20s. Metzger should sell because he's historical, and he's going for 14, which is way higher than what 
a iron player would normally sell for. So we'll try 13 on him. Okay, so we're down to one left fielder to get rid of and two right fielders. And I am going to get rid of Mr. Stewart, keep Dean around, because he's a 67 and Stewart's a 58. We will sell him for seven. Stewart, that is. And two more to sell in this go-around of this uh, Perfect Team episode. We got Ben Gamble. Ben Gamble was a, a prospect a few years ago for Milwaukee. And I don't think he panned out all that well for anybody. And he's with the Brewers now. Sporting nice long hair. And I will try to sell him at seven. And we're down to Whitey Herzog, keeping Felix Jose. Whitey Herzog, of course, used to manage the Cardinals and before that the Kansas City Royals. So he will go for 14. Again, because he is his, a historical player, he sells, a, he sells for a little higher. So that's it, folks. That is this episode, episode number, part number seven. Uh, we will be doing our next episode from a brand new computer I'm getting in the, uh, through UPS, through a uh, computer company in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, who I got through Amazon, and I got a very, very good deal with, uh, on that computer on Amazon. There are good deals out there, even in coronavirus time. So we will get together probably in a couple of days, I'm thinking Thursday, because we're going to in introduce a couple of new games. It's not just going to be OOTP all the time. Action PC Golf was released today. Dave Cook uh, Sports released Action PC Golf, and we have Action PC Football, a new addition to that, that released uh, a couple weeks ago. So plenty to do in these next few days, and I will see you soon. And I wish you all well. Uh, stay safe. And we'll do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now.